Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of Battle Chasers Night War. We are going to head to the seventh dungeon. I meant to do this over the last few episodes, except I kept getting distracted by side quests. So today we're just going to go straight to the dungeon and do it. And that'll probably take an hour or two. So you're looking at, I don't know, four or five episodes of the dungeon, give or take. And then we will go back to side questing. So there's only one of them, so just standard rotation. Uh, got punch. fight though I'm not going to use well at least on Gully and Monica I'm going to try to drain their mana levels little so they can hold more overcharge in the meantime how about no I'm not going to use a burst gravity punch meh how about cripple and Monica is going to exploit weakness That's what I figured. Exploit weakness. Very, very good. Getting those parts to build better stuff. Woohoo! Another fight. Also, as a reminder, if you are in the Twitch chat, I generally won't know you're there until. Wait, what? Until you actually say something in the chat. So we're gonna go right ahead and use Heroism. And we're gonna use some of his mana too. And straight into Basilisk Shot. Let's see, 75% of 150 is... Uh, about 125, I think? Uh, so, and does she have... Oh, so, uh, yep. So, another... 20 mana would not hurt. Alright, and Gut Punch. She's at 105, that's fine for now. So we'll just go into Wild Shot. There, that's good. That looks like about 75% of her mana is left. And he's dead. And Monica and Calibretto are both about to level up, so that's pretty cool. I'll have to use more of their mana. Alright, we set camera into dungeon number seven. Like I said, heroic. If I run legendary versions of a dungeon, I will probably do it off screen. Or if I need to do it to get an epic item. Oof. Cold and wintry. Oh. This garden was Varus's personal collection of powerful artifacts. His alkalites were sent here to study and prove their worth, which means we should be ready for anything. Most certainly. This circular platform looks important. The ruins, can you make anything out? Yes, it's a locked door. To what? I don't know. And unlocking it? We have to walk the path. Oh, joy. It says there are three lessons to learn, each represented by a statue. Most guarded by something. Well, yeah, that's how these things always go. 
walking the path, eh? Let's put some pep in our step, kids. Huh. Three statues. So, war, knowledge, and death, I'm guessing, are the three paths? Can I open this? No. Alright, well, I guess we just go forward. Ah, okay. So you choose left, right, or middle. Uh, let's start at the right and work our way to the left. So we're going to backtrack here just a little. <gasps> we can fish. Let's fish. Come here, shadow token. Also, if I decide to go on a fishing spree, or visit the fishmonger, I'll probably do that off-screen as well, because he usually has a number of good fishing spots. play this game, fishing is worth it. I wasn't paying attention, I let it rack up, and when I finally turned them in, I got 80 tokens at one point. And the more shadow tokens, the better. Oh, 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 don't. There we go. All right. All right. What is this? Oh, just stuff. I will just gladly take stuff. So each room is just going to be a series of fights. I'm oh, son of a gun. Oh, okay. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, how about guard instead? Intervening mist. And she is about to level up, so we're just gonna go straight into a shot. Yeah, that's what I figured. isn't about to level up, so... How about Taunt for Gully? Cleansing Rain. Now, from there... Chimera Sting the Assassin. Ah! Well, the slower he goes, the better we are, so... Let's get her shield up. He's dead next turn, so let's spot him. Monica. Still got the taunt on her, so we're just going to stack those shields. Now, well, let's definitely finish him off. And then just start at the top and work our way down. So we'll gut punch the top spider. Oh, he's gonna taunt. And then exploit weakness all day long. Another innovating mist for the other two. Uh, she's already taunted, so like I said, you just stack those shields. Spider's dead. Alright, 
Got to punch the other spider. And another exploit we did. And a gut punch. That spider might be dead. Just in case it gets. Nope, it's dead. Hey, more, more perk points. More perk points. Oh. Oh, they're mazes. Yay, mazes. What's this? Yes, we like drinking from the Shrine of Experience. It is our friend. All right, let's go take a look at their perks. So, we get rid of these. That leaves six for... I like Recuperate. I'm not really using Swift Cleanse, but I know I will be. Well... Um... Well... Let's do that for now, I guess. We'll get rid of athletics and these. That gives 10. The more crit chance, the better we are. So let's do that. She's at a 30% crit chance. And then we're gonna crank her crit damage because why not? Give me more stuff. La la la. Alright. Lots of stuff. No, nothing? Alright. Oh, we've been ambushed by a blood prowler who is stealthed. Alright, guard first. Enervating mist. I should see if there's a wild shot level two. I never paid attention to that. I see you. Crit up. That's just crit chance. So if we gut punch. Taunt. And then exploit weakness. I'm pretty sure he's dead. You might get a single attack off. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, a large pa loose page lies in the stone, torn stone, in the snow, torn from a large book. Virus would later re-emerge with a sudden ferocity and power that cannot be explained. It was said that he still visited the garden and would bring a lucky few there to experience his gift. The details of this was never confirmed. Virus would go on to conquer large swaths of the world, seeking a sort of vengeance on the unified territories for crushing him in his homeland. But much as before, his success was temporary. His tremendous power suddenly waned, and his forces were spread thin and destroyed. As quickly as Virus had reappeared, he once again vanished, this time never to return. I really hope Alamon's not going to turn out to be... Okay, that works. A double cross. He might very well be... Ooh, dungeon map. Oh, well that's a weird map. So we go to each one, and then backtrack to the portal, which gets us to the last leg? Maybe? Huh. Alright, well, fun with dungeons. Ice Fisherman's Treasure Map. These are usually worth it, actually. Lakes to the south, woods to the north. Alright, so... When we get a chance, check the world map. <gasps> I see a fishing hole! Ah, there are enemies on the map. Let's go find them and come back and fish. 
Inferno oil. We can sell that. Actually, how much money do we have? We got a decent chunk of money, so... Is that a trap? That is not a trap. Huh. That can't be activated. What is this? This Gargo glowing emeralds. Take the loose gem. Gargoyle emerald. I wonder what that's used for. Ah. Oh. Oh, this is a puzzle, isn't it? Alright, let's go do some fighting. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Alright, first thing. Ow. Guard. Cleansing rain. I think we can almost kill that ice bat. So let's take out the ice bat. Very close to it. Alright, um, let's use her boulder toss to get a stun on everyone else. I uh, can't Basilisk shot it. We can execute. That's fine. Okay, that's not fine. Intervening Misk. 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 Now Gully will taunt. She is about to take a ton of incoming damage. Bat out. Now the assassin. So, gut punch. Start stacking Gully shields. You missed. And I am unstable, and I don't know why. Alright. How about... No. Well, cleansing Rain again. We are... An exploit... A point short of exploit weakness. So the assassin is probably dead. Yes. Now on to the elemental. We will Chimera Sting. Stack Gully Shields. Missed again. Huh. Gut punch. And now she can exploit weakness all day. Well, Jelly's got plenty of shields now. Obliterate and an exploit weakness. I think the obliterate will kill him. Yeah. Ooh, assassin's garb and a dark root band. All right, let's pause here.